Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the channel! So, we have a little otter. Finally, a bit more organized in what I want. And this one, I will have to separate some areas the grass and the bubble teas from the character because I had a little issue in trying to work with it, with all together. So, yeah, and you will see it speeded up how the process is done. And in this one, I promise you guys, this one has the otter 100% done, only the otter. The rest of the background will be separate, it will be worked separately. Except the, the plank and the flowers, that is together with the otter. So that those two parts are done as well, so those extras are done. But the otter for me is 100% finished. The rest of the background will be done on the last video of this one, of this group. And I hope you have been enjoying the work so far. So enjoy! <laughs> So yeah, and here on the clothing, I decided to just make it a bit more, and instead of the this kind of a scratch, not scratchy, but dirt kind of like uh, feeling to the painting, I decided to make it more, um, how can I say, it's more like flat colors, organized in a way. So how can I say this, it's more like fixed colors, not very dirty, but more clean. But I then I made uh, on the... A bit more head on the on the video, I made an extra layer that is multiply, but you'll see in the, in the ahead. What I was trying to focus was just finishing the character at least, so I could have more time to finish the rest of the background. Because for me, backgrounds, even though this is a simple one, there are some issues that I I know I'm gonna have later on. So I have to study a bit of the grass kind of feel to the. To look not natural, even though this is cartoony. Oh yeah, and this part is just... I was having a little bit of issues with coloring the, the hands. This, this part still was a bit of hell to fix. This has also taught me a bit of a huge lesson, like... Having everything organized before you start going on, an, on a wild adventure when you work, it's a huge lesson to learn from because I have... I didn't really organize the sketch, to be honest. It was not exactly 100% organized. So every detail you add, this is just a huge advice for you guys. Every single detail you have on your work, it's best if you have it already organized in a sketch rather than just playing around with it while you're drawing, especially if you're making videos for YouTube. You have to have a little bit more organization. Don't be like me. Don't be unorganized like me. Jesus, no, I'm not a good example on that point. But yeah, it's a lesson for me as well. So next videos will be more, more organized and you see the, the line art more fixed. And I already will have one thing that I advise you guys. When you make a work, in, in, it doesn't matter if it's digital or tra traditional. Do the following: make yourselves a, a sketch on a, not a, not a simple notebook, something a paper that is a bit rough. I mean, it has good quality, but not like, extremely good quality, but good quality enough so you can add the colors, the sketch as you wanted. I mean, have everything organized so when you can actually uh, scan it and draw all over and you have the colors previously chosen the, uh, traditionally you can start 
playing a bit with the colors just to see how they work digitally. to the flowers as well uh, it's really you need to make some research so yes I promise you guys next videos will at least a new character I will be choosing choosing Jesus Christ sorry about my English I know a lot of English speakers will kill me because of my bad English but sorry about that still um, I'm trying to get more of a organized method but since I was doing this the first time I decided to leave, to leave my mistakes open in the open and then well confessing how I make my mistakes and then fixing them on the next video collection that will possibly be more of a aquatic aquatic character I don't know why I said it sounded like I was saying aquatic with work like a duck I don't know why it sounded like that but anyways yeah I'm gonna work better on my sketches, on the decision of my colors and how things will look so I have more to offer you in terms of a better look and how to organize your work better. And everything goes well, possibly I will have the whole work set up on one video only instead of massacrating you with like a ton of videos with like this situation that, ha that happened. Possibly on the on the last video, I possibly will go back to the flowers just a little bit because there was a, they are extra, so I was trying to get a bit of more feeling. But I think on the next video, since it's the eighth, will be the eighth will be the final one. I'll go back here just to organize them better because I still, you know, I have a little issue issue with them and I don't really like how they look yet. <laughs> So this is was the part that I decided to make it more flat colors, but still with the shadows organized. I mean, there's some parts that were really not naturally were not catching shadow, not on the shadows, and not and not catching light. Those were the ones that made a bit more darker. 
some parts I didn't, so I had to decide to just really work with the flat colors in this one. And working with natural shadows, then I will start. I started to make another layer, so the the work would be more organized. Because I was really getting lost in this, the, the dirty kind of feeling. And other works I did actually worked, but on this one was not working well. This is the hap This is the problem when you don't test things f previously. It really can give you a lot of headaches, to be honest. Overall, I gotta say, it has been a nice experience working with this character and showing you guys my progress for the first time on YouTube. I wasn't really sure how this was gonna work and I'm already satisfied with 8 videos that show my progress and how I have my issues and how I should fix them in the next videos. I'm really really enjoying this so I'm, I'm, I'm really considering continuing this, uh, this uh, work, I mean not, not only this work but more characters in the next videos but i really really am satisfied how things are finally coming up so yeah it's more likely that you will see more of these characters next and when i get more opportunities and then get a better chance i'll possibly make something with a much complex background and something more organized previously i will have a whole sketch worked up instead of just really making you go through hell in here seeing all my pain and suffering through the process. And here, this is the one I was talking about, the multiply layer, where I add the shadows. And then in here, I start to give the more dirty kind of feeling that I naturally make on my work. Because doing it on one layer, I still have a lot of issues. I have got to admit that I still have a lot of issues to fix. So guys, we're approaching the end of the video. I hope you had a nice time. Hope to see you all in the next video. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.